Hello and good morning. Today we are at Mark Bangalore, uh, a campus in Pena, where we are with a bunch of students who are going to go along and have a industrial tour with us. Mark Millipore has done tremendous job in the biotech segment. Today, as a corporate social responsibility, I am at Mark to take some students along with me and showcase how exactly the industry works. We are also going to show the products and services of Merck and definitely we are going to take you around together. Let's go. So let's get started with our industrial tour at Merck. As we embark on our lab tour, I was thrilled to see a group of enthusiastic students eagerly awaiting the adventure that lies ahead. Their excitement is palpable and I could sense their anticipation for the valuable knowledge and experiences they are about to gain. We were joined by Dr. Ramesh, the head of operations at Merck Validation Lab. With a wealth of knowledge and experience, Dr. Ramesh passionately shared with the students the groundbreaking work being carried out at the lab. His words painted a vivid picture of innovation, dedication, and the impactful contributions that the lab is making in the field. Monoclonal antibody manufacturing. Um, in microbiology, you might have studied a little fermentation, right? So you will see some bioreactors. Organizations nowadays, they don't want to develop a drug on their own or manufacture on their own or test on their own. They want to outsource it. It is called contract research, contract manufacturing or contract testing organizations. We literally validate 400 to 415 new molecules every year. That is the amount of research that is happening. That is the amount of new molecules that are so you guys have got very good future. If you go in the right direction, you can make a career in, in one of these areas. Having received a captivating introduction to the groundbreaking work conducted at Merck Labs, we eagerly prepared to embark on our much anticipated lab tour. With each step, we are poised to witness the innovative processes, advanced technologies, and the collaborative spirit that define the essence of Merck Labs. It needs some excitement from you guys. So are you ready? Yes, sir. Louder. Yes, sir. Are we ready to explore science? Yes, sir. Let's dive in. So welcome to Merck. We're going to get started with our industrial tool. You're going to be exposed to multiple labs, right? This is the first lab and Niranjan sir is here. He's going to guide you about it, sir. Towards yeah. the lab. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. So welcome uh, to the MLab Collaboration Center. So uh, my name is Niranjan. So I am part of the MSAT team. MSAT is nothing but Manufacturing Science and Technology team. So we are basically a uh, technical support to the commercial team. Mr. Nirajan's revelations regarding Merck's operations offer a distinctive viewpoint. Merck functions as a network comprising 10 collaborative M-Lab centers strategically positioned globally. For customers seeking to integrate a new system into their processes, Merck goes beyond traditional interactions, providing an immersive experience. Customers transcend the role of mere visitors. They become integral members of Merck's technical team. This collaborative approach empowers them to actively engage in the process, gaining first-hand experience Experience with the product before committing to any decisions. Let's move into the lab. So basically what we have done with the lab is like we have put the lab in such a way that when a customer would like to visit us, they have certain uh, idea in their mind. So uh, probably a customer would like to set up a new industry. They are, they are starting from scratch. So they want to see all our end-to-end -end product from upstream, downstream and formulation. So upstream is nothing but where your product is made. So usually uh, a bioreactor will be used uh, where a microorganism is grown. 
Dr. Niraja not only explained but vividly demonstrated to the students the intricate processes of upstream and downstream formulation processing. He provided hands-on insights into the utilization of cutting-edge equipment such as bioreactors and mixers, illustrating the seamless integration of technology into these critical stages of scientific exploration. After clarification, uh, again, the unit operation may change, but assuming we are doing a chromatography step. Furthermore, so Dr. Nirajan delved into the nuances of chromatography, shedding light on both general principles and the specific application of column chromatography. The students were captivated as he demystified the complexities, making chromatography an accessible and comprehensible aspect of their scientific learning. Product of interest. So uh, next step is where you, are, you will be probably making it into a vial or an injection or a powder, those kind of things. Following an engaging and informative lab tour session with the students, our exploration gains even more depth as we continue the journey alongside Dr. Ramesh, the distinguished head of operations at Merck Validation Lab. Four different studies that will be done, right? So the first one is called the compatibility study. That means the product contact paths. To find out whether the filter is integral or not, right? Even after coming in contact with the product for the complete batch. Dr. Ramesh serves as our guide into the intricate world of validation practices, sharing profound insights into the meticulous processes that ensure the precision and reliability of Merck's work. As we traverse through the various sections of the lab, Dr. Ramesh's expertise transforms the tour into a dynamic learning experience, providing us with a first-hand understanding of the intricate operations that drive innovation and excellence within Merck Validation Lab. By regulatory requirements, you will have to prove how much load of bacteria can be removed by that filter. Continuing our enriching tour alongside Dr. Ramesh fosters a collaborative atmosphere, encouraging students to actively engage with the innovative projects and methodologies on display. That is optimized and we spike the organism, right? Now to spike the organism, all of you know that we will have to culture the organism, grow the organism, purify the organism. They are taking a 47 mm membrane, right? Or 20, 25 mm membrane. Depending on the filter, they are... Dr. Ramesh passionately discusses Merck's initiatives aimed at contributing to the greater good, emphasizing the importance of ethical and sustainable practices. This phase of the tour not only deepens our understanding of Merck's commitment to societal well-being, but also underscores the significance of merging scientific advancements with a sense of responsibility. It's a moment where the synergy between cutting-edge research and ethical considerations becomes apparent, leaving a lasting impression on both the students and participants alike. As the concluding moments of our lab tour approached, Merck's team of experts gathered for a dedicated question and answer session with the students. This invaluable opportunity allowed the students to seek clarity, delve deeper into their newfound knowledge, and gain insights directly from the professionals at the forefront of Merck's scientific endeavors. Natural effluent or through pressure. So it cannot be a natural process of reverse osmosis or a capillary force. Concluding our immersive session with a motivational talk, the atmosphere was charged with a sense of enlightenment and empowerment. The students, having traversed through the intricacies of Merck's laboratories, emerged not only with newfound knowledge, but with a profound sense of inspiration. So what do we have to do? Ask questions, learn, relearn, unlearn, because the industry keeps moving. In the closing remarks, the motivational talk resonated with each participant, reinforcing the significance of their learning journey. The experience of meeting and engaging with Merck's experts added a unique dimension to their education, providing real-world insights that extend beyond textbooks. So a day filled with fun and a lot of learning for myself and our students who came along with me for this industrial tour. And this new initiative which they have taken with students it is very clear that they are 
damn serious about the future of our country our nation and we are excited to see what kind of new collaborations new things will come out of today's visit but let me tell you mark is all about explore learn and collaborate thank you <laughs>